Today's video sponsor is GGG Mall, where using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products, making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, it's Shit Game Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So this is just a small video telling you that there is an important note with the 23.3.1 drivers and it is basically that in terms of overclocking and undervolting profiles, well, things are a bit messier compared to the previous versions. And this usually does not happen, but it was actually something that I noticed uh, after some days of using the 23.3.1 drivers. Uh, and at least with my 60, with my 7900XTX, sorry, I actually noticed that the idle power draw was actually a bit higher because the, the, VRAM, the VRAM clocks would be constantly at around 900 megahertz. Uh, something that does not happen with, uh, for example, 23.2.2 uh, drivers where the VRAM clocks are usually around 10, 15 and now they are overing in between 600 and 900 megahertz, leading the power draw to never drop below 30 watts when usually the power draw would drop to around, let's say, 16 watts when fully idle, okay? And it went from 16 watts to 30 watts, which is not something that should be at least called optimal. And the second thing that I noticed, and most likely the most important, and I also noticed in the comment section some of you guys telling me that these drivers were crashing, or at least were making your GPUs crash, unlike the previous ones of the 23.2.2, and that's because of your overclocking and undervolting profiles, like I said before. What I noticed with my 7900XTX is that I actually need to, when going into the overclocking, you have the minimum and maximum frequency, and I actually needed to decrease the minimum frequency to 500 megahertz uh, while keeping the maximum one, for example, on my power saving mode uh, to 2400 megahertz. That's, that problem did not occur when I was testing the drivers because I was using the, the max power profile and the max power profile works perfectly with a minimum of 2400 and a maximum of 2900. But as soon as I go to my power saving settings, they will crash with the 23 0.3.1 drivers unless I go there once again and decrease the, um, the minimum frequency from 2300 to 500, okay? That's how it works. I don't really know why because the frequencies that are shown by MS Afterburner are exactly the same, the FPS are the same, the power draw is the same, but the software just doesn't like to have a minimum frequency like that of 2300 megahertz, okay? So that's just a video, this is just a video to tell you that the power draw might be slightly higher and that in fact the, the crashing problems that you might have are due to your, to your overclocking and undervolting profiles because I'm almost certain that if you test them uh, at stock, if you test your GPU at stock, the crashes won't happen. So if you want to keep the 23.3.1 drivers, just use minimum to 500 or 1000 let's say, but 500 is the safe one uh, and the maximum to, to the one that you were using before. If you don't want that, well, just revert to the 23.2.2 drivers that in my opinion are very good and, are the, and they are the ones that I'm actually using right now. So I'm currently using the 23.2.2, way lower uh, idle power draw, um, and the stability with my power saving settings are just, it's just, not are just, it's just great. So that's it. And well, guys, that's all for this video. Just wanted to let you know this, this information about the, um, about the power saving profiles, about the minimum and maximum frequencies, OC, UV profiles, and obviously the idle power draw. And once again, I did not notice these when testing the drivers because I was testing the drivers with the maximum uh, with the maximum performance settings and those settings had absolutely no issues. But as soon as I went uh, and used the power saving ones, things went nuts, I had lots of crashes and then I discovered that I just, all I had to do was to actually go and put the minimum frequency to 500 and everything was fine. I was checking with MS Afterburner once again, it was everything the same, but the software just didn't like to have the minimum frequency set to 2300 megahertz. It is what it is, but after all, in my opinion, 
if you're if the 23.2.2 drivers are good for you just use them because overall they seem better at least for my car than some others than the 23.3.1 drivers but some people were actually having issues with the RX 7900 series uh, with the 23.2.2 and the 23.1 uh, the 23.3.1 sorry solve their issues so for those keep the drivers for those that have no issues with the previous drivers just use them because in my opinion they're better thanks a lot for watching once again and see you in the next video